Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Deus Ex The Invisible War, released in 2003 by Eidos Interactive and Ion Storm. The game that many people in the Deus Ex um, community refuse to acknowledge exists. This is a game I played when it actually came out way back in 2003, and boy was I disappointed with it when I was a lot younger. But I'm older now, hopefully slightly wiser, and I wish to re-experience this game. This game is getting a rarity for me. It's getting a free second pass at me, a free second chance. I'm wiping away all of my horrible memories of this game from my youth, and I'm going to see if playing it when I'm now older, I reappreciate some of the things about it and look at it in a new light. No promises, though. Now, I've had to set a few things up to make this game work properly. Firstly, uh, I'll show you, but uh, I reduced the music volume to 70. It doesn't seem to affect the music volume in this actual area at all, which is a little annoying, but the music has stopped, which is nice. Um, but just a 70 purely because the music can sometimes really overpower a game, so uh, that might change in after the third video if people think it's a bit too loud or a bit too quiet. Subtitles are on. They are not normally on by default, and neither is the music volume changed. And also, the mouse sensitivity has gone from 50 to 15, because it's all over the place. The last thing I need to comment on in this game is the fact that... Well, I'll just show you. We're going to go to, uh... Back and New Game. And we're going to ignore that and get to this screen, that would have no music regardless of if the music had ended. To select your character. We're going to play on normal difficulty, and we have six portraits to choose from. Three female, and three male. I'm going to be the one that's picked first, the first female portrait. Now, I would press done and just go straight into the game, but while I'm recording this game, if I'm actually recording it while it loads, either I imagine a game, or to a different cutscene, or I don't know about cutscenes, but um, if I start the game here, or go to a new area while playing, and I'm recording, the game crashes. Completely hard crashes, because it actually goes to desktop briefly before it loads the next area. And my recording software does not like that. So, I will be cutting the video here, and when we come back, we'll be at the loading screen for the first area of the game. And here we are, the loading screen. You'll be seeing this loading screen a lot. It's uh, much more obvious than the loading screen in Deus Ex 1, where the screen just went slightly darker and it said loading. And we are brought to this place, Tarsus Apartments, where you will see that we are in an absolutely tiny room with a light that's blaring from the right-hand side. Oh yes, there is a light. And some binoculars that we're going to grab. We just acquired an inventory object, which means we have an inventory. V to access it, and if we want to use various items, it will tell us. For, the, for instance, if I double click, I can equip the binoculars and use them. Now, as you can see, there is this light that is constantly flashing into this room. How Alex here, the name of our protagonist, gets to sleep, I've no idea. But more importantly, there is the pigeon of conspiracy. Look at him. He's plotting something. I know it. Look at those shifty eyes. You can never trust a pigeon that can pivot perfectly without moving. I'm watching you, pigeon. I can watch you even closer if I want to. Look at those high-res graphics on that pigeon. All the work went into the into the pigeon, by the way. Ah, uh, yes. No, oh, quick, he's looking at us. Look natural. Look natural. How do I... There we go. Right click to unequip. So, we're in this room with this pillow that we can throw. Ugh. Take that pillow. And a trophy that we're also going to throw. Because we hate being awarded things. To our left, by the way, is a candy bar. A Monty Bites candy bar. And our first dialogue in the game, where we will see our avatar in full 3D glory. 
Welcome, Alex. Hello. I see that you're awake. Indeed. Just trying to sleep off the chopper ride. Yep. What happened? The guards practically dragged me to the roof. They did. Let me introduce myself. Hello. I'm Nassif, director of the Tarsus Academy here in Seattle. Greetings. I've been moved to Seattle. What about Billy? Is she here too? Yep. Alex, I'm afraid something happened in Chicago. Really? A terrorist attack. We evacuated you and Billy just in time. That's good. No one told me anything about an attack. How bad is it? I have friends in Chicago. Pretty bad. You don't want all the details in one dose. Trust me. First, pick okay. up your map to the facility. It's stored in a data cube inside the chest. Then I'll unlock your door and tell you what I can. That was an explosion. What was that noise? Nothing to be concerned about. Really? You have your assignment, Alex. Really? Nothing to be concerned about? That was an explosion. You're not telling me something. We've barely been in the game five minutes and already conspiracies. Let's open this and grab our basketball. Yeah. Sign her up for the Knicks. Anyway, let's uh, dispose of that. We're not taking that with us. Alex, I thought this map might help you acclimate more quickly to the new facility. Good. Your data vault has been initialized. You can press N to access it. Now I'd like you to come downstairs and meet the other trees. Okay. Billy Adams, you know from Chicago. I do. Check in with her in apartment 454 on your way down. I will. Also, it would seem we have info links. Great, my mind is once again going to be invaded by people and I'm watching you, Pigeon. There's a map. I see that's where we are, Alex D. Strange that we don't have a surname. I wonder if that's significant to something. Sorry, just uh, stroking my chin in skepticism. Anyway, let's go. Just nothing, eh, Doctor? Let's just, uh, look at this data cube. Alex, why are we locked in? They bring us here in the middle of the night, then treat us like prisoners with no explanation. Come see me as soon as you can. I'm in 454. Billy. Excellent. Let's go steal food, though. Like this soy. But most importantly, we can use these buttons to open doors. And steal paintings. And... Drop them. No, throw them! There we go. Well, I suppose we've got to go find other places, so let's just move forward. Hello, guard! How are you? Until our security assessment you saw that, right? Will be operating as a closed campus. Please remain in the main complex. Well, I've got some bad news for you, buddy. I'm taking your partially depleted ammo clip. I'm going to talk to your friend. Oh, God. He's really dead, isn't he? Yeah, I'd say so. He was ragdolling quite severely. What happened? Mike and I worked here for Folks years. Usually nothing makes it past the turret. That doesn't answer you my know question. What's going on? Dr. Nassif acted like nothing's wrong. I, I'm sure SSC will be sending help any minute now. I doubt it. Also, say hello to the soulless, deadless eyes of everyone. This guy's a five-star janitor. Later, he might be a five-star corpse. Wait, wait. Until our wait. Assessment I, I've got snap out Yes, you do. Killed in the line of duty. At least it's snowball, I guess. It was a grating that exploded. You must have orders from Dr. Nassif. You should probably get going. Nah, not really. I'm just gonna waste your time. I wonder what's taking security so long. They're not coming. I guess I'd better just wait here. Good plan. Then you can die just like him. Oh, anyway, I'm going to drink some water, and then I'm going to go check this room out. You looking for me? Yep. Huh? You looking for Leo Jankowski? Nope. I'm probably in the rec area working out. We're already on a plane for Horn RCP. Okay. Special Security Division. And I bet you wish it was you. Huh, plebe? N not really. You sound quite obnoxious. Alright, what about over... Okay, here's the best person ever. It's a robot! Greetings. Greetings! You are so polite for a cleaner bot. What else do you have to say? Do you have anything else to say? Greetings. Okay, you do say more than just greetings. Self -study will last only until the top of the hour. Okay. What else will you say? Watch your step. Oh, okay. Fine, fine, fine. What about That's four five four. But we have another room we can check out here. Hi, this is Clara. Hello. Sorry, I'm security right now. I'm Prices will be operating as a closed camp. Thanks for stopping Please by. Remain. You sound chirpy. My character's gonna hate you. What about Billy? We could just open the door. You're in the way, but I will check in on the intercom. Yeah, who's there? Hello. It's me, Alex. Finally, it's about time you woke up. 
Come on in. We've got to talk about what's been going on around here. Yeah, if we don't have a good conversation that's going to be had here. This is Billy. You may recognize her from the introduction cutscene. I take it you heard the disturbance. Yep. Any idea what's going on around here? This Dr. Nassif is telling me to ignore what sounded like an explosion, and I just saw a man killed in the hallway. Yeah. I tried to get answers out of Dr. Nassif, but all she'd give me is the elevator code. It's 28901 if you need it. Thank you. I don't know what's going on, but it's clear we're not safe. Yep. We don't know anyone here, so we'd better watch each other's back. Indeed. Thanks. I guess I should meet our hostess here already. Indeed. Not much else I can do, and maybe I can get some better answers in person. Doubtful. You coming? No, not yet. I've got things to do. Oh, you got a generic trophy just like me. Also, there's a lot of things we can talk to her about. I'm sure you've already made a good first impression on Dr. Nassif. Probably not. Yeah. She wasn't exactly thrilled to catch me rifling through her office. Oh? You've always been good at making friends. There were an awful lot of strange files in Nassif's office. Oh? All this stuff about test subjects and observations. Hmm. I can't imagine what that has to do with Tarsus. You should see if you have more luck poking around. I'll let you know if I learn anything. Unlikely we're going to learn anything. Have you met anyone else here besides Nassif? Nope. Yeah, I've met two of the other trainees. Oh. I wasn't impressed. Just like our first day at Chicago Tarsus years ago. Really? There's never any decent competition. Oh. Not bad. Trust me, you and I must be the best Tarsus has to offer right now. Right, so you have a high opinion of your abilities. Nassif owes us an explanation Attention for trainees. everything. She does. Also, Billy out. has a lot of dialogue here. Tarsus is falling apart. We need to get out before it comes crashing down on us. Okay. You keep talking while I steal your food. Explosions, and a man gets killed, and they won't give us answers? How can we possibly trust them? I don't know, but I stole your food. They're up to something. Until and if it was in our best interest, we wouldn't be kept in the dark about it. True. I stole your food. I checked out the public terminal. Looks like we got out of Chicago just in time. That's handy. Good thing there's two of us. We can watch each other's backs. I'm gonna take this painting. What about this one? Don't care. Attention Didn't trainees. think you did. I'll find I'll a way. Out of the place. Just give me time. Hour. So you're the Maverick, right? Guess I haven't scored any points with Dr. Nassif. Not stealing stuff from her office, no. Not long before we're the superstars here, I'm sure. Maybe. There's no good reason for them to lock us in the facility like this. Anything else to say? Until our security assessment changes, we deserve changes, better treatment than this. Will be operating as a closed Do we really? Please Tell please me more. Nassif poses an explanation for everything. Okay, she's cycling round. We need a key code or a multi-tool to get access to this. And I don't think we have either, but I'll show you the greatest thing so far. The toilets have jingles. Excellent. We are in the future. We really should take this more seriously. <laughs> really? Are you feeling okay? Yep, absolutely fine. Is it self-writing? You really should take this more seriously. A test. No, it's uh it's not self-writing. Until our security assessment That's fine. Tarsus will be operating as a closed campus. Are you still panicking? Oh God. Yep, yep, you're still panicking. So, there is this news terminal that we could check out. There's also this extremely awesome cleaner bot. Greetings. Greetings. The most polite bot in the world. You can also totally interrupt his pathing. Observe. Will last only uh, you're not getting anywhere. I'm blocking you. Nope. Nope. Ha ha! You cannot do anything while I'm blocking your path. So, this was the first gameplay video of Deus Ex The Invisible War. Not much happened, but you can already tell that people have their own agendas. The first game really took a little longer for you to figure that out, didn't it? So, I'll catch you later, and I'll see you then. Later.